As a pre-debut stan who has followed the girls since Island 2, I'm very very excited to see the girls finally making their debut and come out with new music. Not only I loved Isna's lineup so much, but I also really like the original songs that came out of Island 2, which made me anticipate this comeback even more. Now that they finally debuted, there are so many things that I'd like to talk about, so let's go. For the title track we have Isna. Right off the bat I'm just gonna say that the chorus was the most underwhelming part of the song. The chorus represents the identity of the song. But in Isna it felt like it was the verses and the bridge that really gave the song an identity. In comparison the chorus falls flat. It's meant to be catchy and the repetition of na 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 is meant to make it get stuck in your head. Which definitely worked. But not gonna lie. We really didn't need yet another empty chorus in K-pop. Especially when you have a group with many good vocalists. And speaking of the vocalists. I don't feel like they were well utilized. If the chorus had not been an empty one, we could have gotten so many more interesting vocal parts. But in terms of vocal parts that we got, I have to say Jungkook and Jiyoon never fail to amaze me. They're such an iconic and powerful duo that complement each other perfectly. Their voices are so different but go so well together and they always give me chills. On to the rapping now. I personally love the Kokoa and Sarang rap combo. Coco has established herself as a rapper since the beginning of Island 2 and we had no doubt she would take over the main rapper role, but rapper Sarang was kind of a surprise, even though we've always known she was an all-rounder, she had only rapped once during the show and she did a great job, as someone who has had Sarang as my one pick since the beginning of Island, I'm super happy that we got to see her shine more, however not every member shined in this song, and I'm talking about my answer B. I guess it makes sense that my got little line since she's most likely the weakest vocalist in the group and is still in the process of improving, but what about Sabi, it's like I've barely seen her or heard her, and yes she isn't in the vocal line or anything, but her vocals are good enough to give her more lines, especially because frankly speaking, that chorus was full of na 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 and anybody could have sang it with no problem, and this is when we have to address the elephant in the room, Jimin and Coco shouldn't have gotten all the choruses. Coco already had a whole rap part and Jimin already had some verses, so the chorus should have been divided so that members like Mai and Sabi could sing a bit more, don't get me wrong, I love Coco and Jimin to death, I get that Jimin is the center and that Coco is a main dancer so it makes sense they get a lot of center time, but it would have been nice to distribute the parts a bit more equally, but anyways, as far as the music video is concerned, some people said it looked low budget, and maybe that's kinda true, but I still enjoyed it. It was rather simplistic but I still found it interesting and the girls all looked absolutely stunning, so I'm satisfied. As far as the song is concerned, I really enjoyed it despite not being a fan of empty choruses, because the verses and the bridge were just so fucking good and I'm overall obsessed. Now let's talk about Time Bomb. Ever since the album snippets came out, I knew Time Bomb was gonna be my favorite song of the album. It starts off very enchanting and magical. But then it becomes super catchy and poppy in the chorus, which I loved. This was already a much better song to showcase the girls' voices. And I'm actually glad we got to hear Maya a bit more because she has actually a very nice voice and you can tell she improved a lot since Island. Time Bomb was also a lot better in terms of center distribution as we got more diverse choruses with different members. And let me tell you, all of these girls have an incredible center quality because whenever they took the center spot, they all owned the stage. The choreo was also super fun and powerful and I loved how it was different for each chorus. The only thing I didn't like about this song is that once again, it feels like CB got the short end of the stick. She got more lines this time, but she's the only one that didn't sing in the chorus and so she remained much less visible compared to the other girls. I really feel sorry for her because she's one of the members with the best center quality and it sucks to not see her shine as much as she deserves. All in all though, I love Time Bomb the most out of all the songs. And it's definitely my favorite along with Drip. As far as the other songs in the album, I already loved them since we first heard them on Island 2. I personally thought Isna would go in that direction sound-wise. Time Bomb is really reminiscent of these songs, and maybe that's why I like it so much. There is a specific sound that Teddy crafted throughout Island, and I was a bit surprised to see that we got quite a different vibe for the title track. But like I said before I still liked it. However I can't deny that the original songs that came out of Island are still my favorites, especially Drip, and I'm so glad that now we're getting official versions, 
The girls' voices sound so perfect, and even if I had gotten so used to hearing the island versions, I'm glad that we finally get to hear the girls on these tracks. Listening to these versions of the songs makes me feel quite emotional as it reminds me of just how far the girls have come. As I mentioned earlier, the major problem with this comeback was the unequal exposure that was given to the members. I understand wanting to establish a center line, but a center isn't necessarily the member that sings every chorus and has the most lines. A center is usually the one that starts the song, the one that usually has the most memorable lines. That's enough to make someone stand out as a center. It's not like they need to be given every chorus. I also watched the showcase and the whole thing was heavily focused on Coco and Jimin. Again, I absolutely adore them. They are so talented. They are stunning. I love seeing them perform and they deserve all the attention. But so do all the other girls. And the last thing I want is for some people to start disliking them because they feel bitter that they are overshadowing the other members. I would never want that but you know how some K-pop stands can overreact. And that's one more reason as to why I hope things will be a bit more equal in the future. As for line distribution, Mike came last in almost every song, ranking last in the overall album. And again, it is understandable, but to be ranking second to last in overall distribution is something I cannot really understand, considering her vocal skills are pretty much on par with Coco and Jimin, and her center quality is too, in my opinion, and this is just speculation. The company is aware of her huge star power and her a girl factor, but they have decided that Jimin and Coco should be the centers, so I feel like they are kinda perceiving Sabi as a threat to their ideal center line and that's why they're kinda holding her back. It's a shame the girls were not utilized at their full potential, both in terms of screen time and line distribution. In the end, this was only their debut, so maybe it's not gonna matter much in the grand scheme of things. I just hope Wake One gets a better idea of what to do with the girls and how to utilize each and every one of them to maximize their potential. In conclusion, if I had to rate this debut, I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10, or maybe even an 8, because I did enjoy the songs and I think this concept fits all the girls well. These songs are good choices to showcase Isna's identity, but of course there are things that need to improve, such as screen time and line distribution, and also the lack of a proper full chorus, but these are not huge problems, at least not this early in their career. They might become negative aspects in the future though, and that's why I hope things will change. But all in all, I am satisfied with this comeback. I like the songs, all the girls slayed, and they genuinely look like they're having the time of their lives when they're on stage. So I'm super happy and I still can't believe we're finally witnessing their debut era. If you're a pre-debut stan like me and you had to suffer throughout Island 2, you'll understand how I feel. Anyways, this is all I had to say. I'd like to know your thoughts so please let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and bye everyone.